So right now I'm going to show you how to do a tunneling bot. And I won't show you necessarily how to make this one that's going straight down in the earth. We're going to make one that um, goes into mountains or so on. But I want to show you this, the usefulness of, of agents that can do these type of things. So when you're in survival mode, the most annoying thing is mining and the kind of time consuming thing of taking down trees or going into a mountain. Um, but you can program your bots in a way that they can do all the hard work for you. So usually what you do is you find a cave and you get into the cave and explore the cave system, gathering minerals and stuff. Um, but in actuality, you can create a, a bot that finds a cave for you. So I don't know if there's a cave or not down here. We're going to see if we get lucky. Um, but he's going to keep building down, clearing out this area, collecting it, and building a fence so I can continue it. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'll show you a bot that can clear, collect, and set items for you. Um, in our case, it's going to be setting a torch in a tunnel so you can follow it as, you, as your little robot goes. Um, so there he goes down there. And um, again, I won't show you how to do this one that goes straight down. I want you guys to create that on your own. Um, but I do want to show you the usefulness of it. All right, so we have this guy down there. Okay, he stopped. I have him programmed that when he finds air below him, he knows he found a tunnel, so he needs to stop. So I'm going to hop on this ladder here. See, hopefully I don't uh, fall to my death. All right, here we go. Cool, I can see there's some iron down here already. All right, and I'll hop off the ladder. Okay, so there's my bot. Once he gets to a certain point, he's going to stop, right? So he won't keep going down until forever. Uh, actually, he might, but... Um, once he gets to a empty spot, he's going to there. I have night vision on, so that's why I can see right now. But look, there's all this iron now. So now, rather than searching this cave system for hours and hours, I can just take all this iron and start harvesting it, right? So I'm doing kind of slow way here. But the point of this is I want to show you how to make a tunnel to um, continue into the mountain here, right? So let's say, you know, I want to go into this, this wall here. I want to start collecting everything in here and just make a tunnel straight through the mountain. Let's, let's program that bot. All right, go home here. I'm going to make a new project. And we're going to um, call this the tunnel. And usually you wouldn't name our entire project just one code. But just for this, I'm going to, um, to do that. Um, create. Usually you'll have a bunch of programs in here, a bunch of codes and commands. But just for this purpose, I'm going to have one command in this one thing here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a bot that can collect forward. So the first thing I want to do is we got to set up commands to get our robot to come to us. Okay. So this robot will come to us now. And we also need commands for him to change his orientation to turn left and right. Let me just get a couple of these. I'm going to name this R. I'm going to name that left so I can get him facing the correct way. Um, Put that one there, put this one here, make that right. Okay. All right. So call my bot to me. There he is. And since he collected thing, he didn't collect anything cool. I'll just take that. Everything else we can get rid of there. Okay. So what I want to do is first, I'm just going to take everything out of him just so we have an empty bot with nothing to worry about. Because what we're going to do is we're going to set his inventory to drop torches and, um, we don't want anything in there because it might delete some good stuff if you have anything good in there. So right now he's not facing the wall, so I need him to face the wall. So usually what I do, I put him here. And actually, put him here. Bot, go there. Turn to the left. Okay, so now he's ready. But we have to add some commands for him to go forward. We're gonna call this a new command, agent, and we're gonna call this. Uh, let's make a new command here. We're gonna call this tunnel. Okay. So what we need to do is the agent needs to destroy forward. Okay. Agent needs to destroy forward. Then he needs to collect what's in front of him. Uh oh, my night vision ran out. We turn that back on. So now I'm going to finish this bot. Okay, here we go. So now what we're going to do is he's going to destroy, he's going to collect, and then I need him to move forward and continue doing it. Okay, so let's see here where are you move, continue forward, and continue doing it. All right, so if I type tunnel, there he goes. He did it once, but that's not good enough. Let's go back here. Come back. Bot. So that's not good enough because he just collects it once. Let's add the loop command. 
in this repeat it. Okay, so it says repeat four times. Let's do it 10 times. Type tunnel. Oops, try it again. Did I spell it right? There it goes. All right, so he's in there. I really can't follow him. So let's pretend I didn't have pickaxe. You know, I couldn't really follow him and, and dig into the wall there. Um, so that's not very useful to us. So let's call him back. All right. And he didn't get anything cool, but we'll take it out of him. Let's put him back right here. Okay. So we need to make this a bigger opening. So what we can do is we can have him move up and destroy in all directions. So let's have him destroy other directions. Where is it? Destroy. We'll have him destroy to the right. We'll have him destroy to the left. And then he'll move forward. He'll collect all and he'll move forward once. Okay, so now let's try that and see what that looks like. Tunnel. Good, so now he destroys on the sides. Excellent. All right, but that's still not good enough because I can't really follow him yet. So let's call him back again. All right. So now we need him to move up and destroy these things up here. So now what he wants you to do is, let's, okay, so then what we're going to do is, uh, let me get rid of, put this back here, put that out of there. So we're going to destroy, collect, and then we're going to move upwards, agent move, oops, agent move up. Okay, he's going to destroy left, destroy right. Oh, I need to destroy forward. Agent destroy forward, collect all of it, then move up. Then I want him to kind of do the same thing again. So I'm actually gonna duplicate, can I select all of this? I want to duplicate that. We'll do this, duplicate. And I want all of this again. Here to view, okay, so. Agent destroy left, destroy right, destroy forward, collect, move up, do the same thing against the wall, and then he's going to move back down. Okay, and then I need him to move forward after he's done with this. Next, he's not going to repeat that 10 times. Then he's going to. Uh, move forward. Agent. Move forward. Okay. And then, yeah, then he'll repeat that 10 times. Then we'll put the repeat code back here. And like that, make that 10. All right, let's give this a test. Put them right here. Let's pretend we have blocks here. We'll close that off again. Get out of here. Okay, let's take that iron out. All right, here we go. Tunnel. So you destroy the top. Why is he placing? Did I put a place code in there? I did. Oh no, get out of here. That should have been a place forward. That should be a move forward. That's silly. Here we go. You guys should have seen that. And you've been yelling at me in the in the video here. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Always good to check your code. There we go. And there he goes into the wall, destroying and collecting as he goes. Beautiful. All right, so now if I didn't have night vision, this would be a very dark tunnel. So maybe I should start adding him. Every so often he places um, something on the side here for us so we can see, okay? So let me run this command again, just so I get an idea of what he's doing as he goes through. So he destroys, goes forward. So maybe when he goes down and before he destroys again, he needs to place a torch. So he keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. All right, so maybe he needs to place a torch somewhere. Let's take that iron out there. So let's have him place a torch every so often. Okay. So we're going to set his inventory and 
This gets tricky too because you don't want him to, de to delete what he's been collecting. If it's just cobblestone, I'm sure it's, it's no big deal. But um, if you have him starting on iron or something, the first thing he just destroyed is iron. Make sure you don't have him set on iron. Maybe just have him just set on the wall there. So let's do this here. Let's have him set his inventory. Set blocker item. Okay. And we're going to set it to a torch. And we can do one. And actually, when he's done, move forward. I need him to destroy left. So there's an empty space to him, next to him. Agent destroy left. There we go. Just so I have somewhere to put this torch. And then I need him to, he's going to set the item. And then he's going to place the item. Okay, so here's what's happening. He does all this good stuff, destroys, and he's going to do it 10 times. Let me add my loop here so you guys see what I'm talking about. Put this loop here, put that inside. Okay, so here's what's happening. He's going to do these things. So the way you read code is you start from kind of the middle here. Um, he's going to destroy, destroy, this is what you all saw. He'll do it 10 times. Then when he's done, he's going to Set the item, slot one, one torch, one here, and he's going to place it to the left. Okay. So when he's done there, see how there's just a block right here? He can't place left right now because there's a block right there. So I had him just, the last command was destroy left. So he destroys it before he places something there. I don't want to run any problems there. All right, here we go. Then he kind of repeats the destroying left here. Um, Maybe I can do destroy up here, just to give him something else to destroy. All right, here we go. So let's try this again. Uh, what's it called? Tunnel. And let's see if this works. Oh, there's some gravel there. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my plans. I think that might, I think the gravel might fall on the torch. Oh, it didn't. There you go. There's, there's my torch by in the way. So now I did it 10 times and repeated this tunnel four times. So he's making a 40 long tunnel here. Oh, there's my torch again. There it is. So if I didn't have night vision, this would be guiding my way through the tunnel here. There he goes. All the way through. Okay, so uh, we'll stop him there. So I'll show you the code here again, and hopefully you understand my thought process of how we did this here. Um, eventually, you'll be getting to places where you do lots of awesome things to do your, your code and collect. Um, but now, if I go in here, I can check them out and look at all this great stuff inside of them I can take. Right. So I don't have to do that, and he did it all for me. Okay. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks.